There are smirks and eye rolls coming from Capitol Hill tonight after the head of the FBI says no one in the Clinton email investigation received special treatment. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harris reports tonight for many GOP lawmakers, the more they learn about the investigation, the more they doubt its veracity. 3,000 pages of emails deleted by Hillary Clinton's team and recovered by the FBI will be processed before Election Day. But the State Department spokesman seemed noncommittal about Everybody, posting them online. We take uh, uh, the court order seriously. Traditionally, we do make, uh, make public um, our responses uh, to FOIA requesters. The congressional testimony Wednesday showed the email investigation deviated from standard practice. No grand jury was impaneled, a routine step that gives the government subpoena power to seize evidence. In this case, Clinton attorney Cheryl Mills' laptop. Why did you not decide to go to an investigative grand jury? You can often do things faster with um, informal agreements. Uh, especially when you're interacting with lawyers. The Wall Street Journal's editorial page took aim at the FBI director. Quote, his highly unusual methods in investigating Mrs. Clinton have tarnished the FBI and certainly knocked off his halo. Mills and a second lawyer, Heather Samuelson, got limited immunity deals from the Justice Department and still sat in on Hillary Clinton's July 2nd interview at FBI headquarters, as one Republican pointedly noted. I don't think that there's any reasonable prosecutor out there who would have allowed two immunized witnesses central to the prosecution to proving the case against her to sit in the room. The attorney general whose department granted the five immunity deals assured Brett Baer in February that she would be guided by professionals and not politics. They will review the facts and the evidence and make a determination in due course. But Lynch's so-called chance meeting with Bill Clinton on a Phoenix tarmac one week before Hillary Clinton's FBI interview cast doubt on her independence. A special operations veteran says his community that lives and dies when classified information is compromised has lost faith in both departments' leadership. Special operations, operational security is paramount. Uh, and one of the things they see is um, a lack of integrity uh, and a lack of discipline uh, on the part of those who have looked into the incident. In another departure, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence said no formal damage assessments will be done, even though 2,100 Clinton emails contain classified information with another 22 at the top secret level. These assessments are required under an intelligence directive known as 732, Brett. Thank you, Catherine. You're welcome.